But first, remembering John Dingell's final days. His wife, Congresswoman Debbie Dingell, releases a heartfelt post about losing the love of her life. The longest serving congressman in American history took phone calls from former presidents and wrote his thoughts on the state of the country in the days leading up to his death. And his wife of 40 years says Dingell was talking to her when he died. Coco McAvoy is live in Dearborn with more of her emotional Facebook post. And Coco, she had a lot to say about Dearborn police and firefighters. Yes, good evening. She says that the men and women from the Dearborn Police and Fire Departments became like family to them. She says they were there for them every step of the way. And she also mentioned that they have some funny stories to share about John's stubbornness over the years. But that Facebook post really gave you an idea of what his final days were like. Congresswoman Debbie Dingell shares her pain in her own words on social media saying sleep is hard. I'm wearing one of John's Michigan sweatshirts, holding another and letting the memories flood me. I'm so blessed to have this incredible love affair for so many years. She spoke about John's final days. Debbie says he was lucid, visiting with friends in charge until the end. And trust me, he knew exactly what he wanted, when he wanted it, and we did it his way. Family friend Nolan Finley recounts their last moments together. Engaged right up to the end. He was tweeting right up to the end. Debbie was by his side up until the very end. She says, I had been trying to get him to eat chocolate pudding, his favorite. He wanted to get up and he did. Then he was gone, just gone. She thanks Dearborn Fire and police who became more like family. She says, I didn't know what to do, and they were all there trying to help me and him and handle what happened. All of the guys are kind, good, loving men who helped John and me through a very, very, very difficult time. And she ended the Facebook post talking about her love for John, and she says he loved public service. And she also mentioned that the community is helping her get through this time. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. What a beautiful tribute. Thank you, Coco.